Oh, Lazy Bones. Lazy, Lazy Moxie. You You've been in bed all night. It's time for us to get up. I know, it's the blanket. It's time for us to get up and start our day. You ready? I don't think she wants to. You have been in bed all night. And there's nothing wrong with that, she said. I slept on the couch until 7.30 for you. You know that? Do you know that it's time to get up? She's repaying you for her spells now. It's time for us to get up. Good morning, guys. So I slept on the couch until 7.30 this morning because Moxie literally was laying where my pillow was and I don't care, that's fine. But now it is 9. I moved to the bed at 7.30. It's 9, I'm going to have some coffee. I'm going to start my day. All right, you should know by now that the rule in my house is if your dog stays over when I make breakfast for us, I make breakfast for them. Did you already have breakfast? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Gotta let it cool off, okay? And then I'll cut up your bacon. Okay. I decided to make some cookies for, to have, um, but also for crafting today. So I'm doing that. We just had a mix in the pantry that needed to be used. So I'm doing that. Just some Betty Crocker peanut butter cookies. It doesn't make a lot, which is nice. So we don't, won't be forced to eat cookies. Um, so I'm doing those. I have the dishwasher running. And once the cookies are done, I'm probably gonna take a shower and get dressed. This is probably super close, but while I'm waiting for the dishwasher to finish, which is over an hour, and I'm waiting for the cookies to finish, I have YouTube on and I'm going to start a project for, I'm gonna start a project. I got some chalk paint here, this is my favorite Waverly chalk paint, and I'm gonna paint these. I feel like I hear Kristen, but I don't. Chihuahua. Get it, Moxie. Get it. Go get it. Jingle the bells. Jingle all the way. No. I don't think she likes it. Tool of yours would work. It doesn't work. We tried it. On this, we didn't. Oh, I don't know where it is. It's under the dry sink. I'm going to get it. Um, I'd have to go get a socket wrench too. Yeah, that's okay. Well, no, it's the thing you can put. Our tree is up, but we won't decorate it till at least tomorrow. What kind of tree is it? Fraser fir. Fraser fir. I actually don't even think it's too tall. We're usually having to cut a bit of the top off, and we don't this time. Looks nice. Looks very nice. It's my Christmas shirt of the day, Elf. A couple hours till crafting with Sadie and my mom and my sister. I have all this stuff and I'm setting up for crafting. This is what we're making. So let me set up. We're all set up. Got our trees and our hats and these are embellishments. Those are more embellishments. The computer. Glue gun, not on yet. We're all set. Got to make Kristen a drink. Got to make myself a drink. And we'll be ready to craft. We're starting at 2, so we'll be ready when it's time. gnomes the one in the middle was the practice gnome did you have a good time 
Yeah. Scale of one to ten, what do you give it? Ten. Ten out of ten? Mm-hmm. All right. Kristen's currently writing a personal ad for a dog breeder. <laughs> I am because I also just did a long text to our former vet. Oh, you did? Yeah, and she's like, I do not blame you. Yeah. So. Well, we did find a dog that was technically available, and it's just... There were four litters. Four litters in that are ready to go home now, and that's just not... Anyway, so she's writing a, a personal ad for a dog breeder. It just sounds like it. We're putting down our list of, you know, what's important to us. And a lot of people claim to be breeders, and they're not breeders. They're, they're puppy producers. Like, it's the only way I can I don't want to say puppy mills because I think that's a different animal in and of itself. Anyway, I was going to show you real quick the hats that I finished yesterday. And the hats that I showed you yesterday that you couldn't actually see. So this is the monster hat. This is also the monster hat. I think that's all that was done yesterday. This is another Sidewinder beanie. Oh, no, this is another monster hat that was done yesterday. This one I knit yesterday and today. I don't know the name of this pattern. And I started another monster hat, and this is my last skein of super bulky yarn until I placed an order with Joann's to use up a gift card. And uh, I've had a trouble in the past with Joann's orders getting delivered, so we'll see if it comes. Anyway, my last skein of super bulky yarn. I'm going to miss it. I like, I've been enjoying finishing things quickly after working on a sweater for a year and a half but yeah I'm thinking about getting some dinner and I think that's probably going to be the end but I'm wondering Kristen what's on our what's on our personal ad what are we looking for in a breeder oh um well, we're we're, looking, we're looking for a golden retriever. Yeah. Specifically, we've um, decided. Looking for people with experience. People that are committed to preserving the integrity and health of the breed. People that have done genetic testing on their dogs before breeding them. And has like the pedigree lines, the uh, the doggy genealogy, mm -hmm. for lack of a better words. Someone who actually cares about the people buying their puppies and doesn't just hand them over to anybody just about the money and um that are just honest oh and people that check the dog's hips and elbows because that's a big problem with large breed dogs hips elbows heart and eyes yeah we've decided that we're dogs are very expensive right now and we've decided that we're just going to spend the winter trying to find a breeder that we're comfortable with right Kristen we want someone that is I would say a respectable yeah breeder I yeah. mean we don't want to drive to California right there's got to be but, people in this know, area New England area greater New England area yeah. is fine it's just we want we, we just are trying not to perpetuate the backyard breeding circus mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I, I knew it was bad, mm -hmm. but until I started looking, I did not realize how bad it was. Anybody that has four litters of dogs right before Christmas, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're in it for the money. They're not in it for the dogs. In this group that I'm in on Facebook, there's probably close to 15 to 20 people that have litters right now available. One maybe out of the 20 one is a reputable reader so we've decided we're going to spend the winter weeding Easily. out and and making sure we're, we're making the best breeder choice for ourselves and um we're going to get on a wait list and we're going to pay more it's probably going to be i would say 12 to 24 months before we get a dog it may not even be until the 
That's why I said 12 to 24 months. I, th- I think it's going to be a long time. Yeah, that's what it is. That's and it is. unfortunately, it's going to be a good chunk of change. In the future, in the future, when Kristen and I only have to take into account what we want, we will, I think, adopt and or foster and take on older dogs. Um, we could get an older dog at this point. I'm sure we like there'd be one available, but it doesn't work fit into our current lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So we also want to be fair to the dogs that we buy. We want to make sure that you know we are at a point where okay, we want to do we. I mean, saying you want a dog is easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just the easiest thing to do. But then, well, because yes, if you <laughs> yeah. asked either one of us, <laughs> do you want a dog? What yeah. percentage of you would like a dog? A hundred percent. One hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Yeah. And if somebody percent. dropped off a dog at our house, we'd be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it's we just want the best chance at a healthy dog after everything we've been through. And some people asked who Moxie was. Moxie is our next door neighbor. Mm-hmm. On the left of us, we have Daisy. No, on the left, we have Moxie. Depends if you're sitting in the house or in front of the house. Okay, on one side of us, we have Moxie, the golden retriever. And on the other side, we have Daisy, who's, who's a mixed breed. Um, and we love them equally. And we bought them both Christmas presents. Um, so, all right, I think that's all for today. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm going to knit some more. I might work on something uh, on my computer for silhouette, uh, for with my silhouette. And I'm going to get dinner, knit, do other stuff, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.